Earlier today, Disney Plus dropped a trailer for Miss Marvel, which means everyone on the internet has already reacted to it, except the one that matters most. The thoughts of a middle-aged man. Let's talk about it. I really only know two things about Kamala. One, she has super stretch abilities, kind of like Mr. Fantastic. And two, she's a big Captain Marvel stan. Even though her stretching abilities aren't unique, the fact that she likes Captain Marvel is highly impressive and definitely makes her stand out from the pack. Let's dive into this Disney offering that will certainly be dark and gritty as it's a take on a high school girl. First impression I'm getting from the trailer, Spider-Man Homecoming vibes. They're doing cutesy comic book things like overlay speech bubbles and into the Spider-Verse-esque scribbles and drawings. Now just because the trailer feels one way doesn't mean the final product will, so we gotta tread lightly through this. This shows about a young Pakistani girl who's clearly into boys and has teenager angst. This show might not be for you. You might feel alienated. That said, this show might not be for me either. So far, the Disney Plus Marvel offerings have been like, eh, pretty good to, no, I'm, I'm good, I don't need to watch any more of that. This one seems, for better and worse, to be the most Disney of the bunch. You're not gonna be able to hear the music from the trailer because YouTube copyright, baby. But I will point out this. The Weeknd, Blinded by the Lights. It's almost unfair for the trailer to use the song because it's so freaking good. It's kind of throwing me off about what this show's actually gonna be. From what I can gather, Kamala doesn't have Stretch Armstrong abilities anymore, but some sort of a magical gauntlet that's more akin to the Green Lantern, where she can just think things and stuff happens. We see her use a giant fist. She's running on electrical platforms of sorts, energy itself. So comic book fans might be a little bit perturbed about this and the fact that the show had the audacity to start with the comic book framing. Like, it's rubbing it in your face that it's not comic accurate, but it's pretending to be. Disney, man. Again, all I know about the characters from that crappy Avengers video game. That game still haunts me. My initial impression from this trailer is it's a schlocky Disney afternoon show meant for a younger audience. And that's cool, I like schlocky stuff sometimes. I watched all three Spy Kids movies without any children. I was in like college at the time. Again, this is a tough one to react to because that weekend song is so fire and it's elevating everything going on. If you put a different background beat to this thing, I'd probably think, eh, this doesn't look great. Now, if the final product does have the playfulness of this trailer and maybe some slick editing like Scott Pilgrim with some sharp dialogue, then hey, I'm incredibly in. I'm like, I'm very excited. I'm not sure that's gonna be case, so it's a wait and see. So far, I'm not sold. What's that, Captain Marvel? Oh, before I go, I was informed by Captain Marvel that you should subscribe to the channel for more honest reactions, movie commentary, rants, reviews, and more. And we have to listen to Captain Marvel. She's the first Avenger! You can also press that notification bell somewhere so these videos show up right in your feed and you don't miss a new one. And hopefully I'll see you around. And I say, ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Oh, you're still here. Since I still have your attention, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or becoming a YouTube join member right here. There's a dollar tier, a five dollar tier, you get exclusive access to videos and more. It's a good time. If you like watching guys stream video games poorly, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash adamolinger. We can talk movies there as well. Love to have you.